What's going on guys? So before we get started, if you don't know what One Leaves is, it's a free to play game on the Xbox store right now with a total of 14 achievements worth a thousand gamer score. And the purpose of today's video is going to be to show you how to complete the game as fast as possible so that you can unlock the one more out of the pack achievement worth 200 gamer score for completing the game 20 times. I'm not going to make a guide on the other 13 achievements because they're pretty straightforward. So I highly recommend just starting off your first game and taking your time with it. Try and stay in the game for somewhere around 12 to 13 minutes before you finish it. And if you go through every room and search every crevice of the map before you finish, you should in turn unlock somewhere around 12 achievements, 11 of them just for finding objects and making it a certain way through the game. And then the last one for failing. Uh, I feel like I had the most amount of trouble with the fail achievement, which is called a one out of three for 150 gamer score. And the you're the one achievement for winning the maze you'll obviously end up doing on your second or third playthrough if you follow that strategy. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get to it. So before we get started, I recommend going into your settings and turning your brightness to somewhere around three quarters of the way up so that you can see a little bit better in some of those darker hallways. And for me personally, I like to turn my volume down because the audio cues from where I'm going so fast through some of the portions of the map will start overlaying over top of each other and you can't understand what they're saying anymore. So right here, as soon as he finishes counting down, you're gonna run through this hallway, open this door after your frames drop to about two, and then crawl through this vent and follow the wire. Now, what I like to do is when I drop out of the vent, I almost always go to the right side. I've, I think I've noticed that the right side always goes up and then straight into the left, just like that right there. Um, and for this puzzle specifically, all you have to do is open this bookshelf open this bookshelf walk past this one hit the corner and then walk through those bookshelves to this door and flip the switch and now you're free to complete the next puzzle and typically what you would do is you would go the other direction you would go up and then cut to the right because the wire is going both wires are going to the right but i've found that if you go downstairs both times it can sometimes be a little bit faster like this right here because it cut a lot of the upstairs portion out which leads me directly to this maze now when you get to this point just turn around as soon as you get to that smoke hit the switch we're going to keep walking around and back through the door that you came through to flip that one and then walk down the staircase and this is pretty straightforward um if you don't know how to bunny hop Basically, all you do is press the trigger to run and then press the jump button and let go of the trigger while you're in the air so that you're rebuilding stamina. And if you continuously do that over and over again and make sure that you're letting go of your run button while you're in the air, then your stamina will reheal before you hit the ground, giving you a lot of forward momentum to continuously basically go at full speed so that you don't have to wait for your stamina to reheal anymore. Now when you get to this part, just wait on this door, kind of push through around this corner right here. It's always the first and the third switch, those never change. Wait until your frames drop to about two again. Then you're going to grab the flashlight, and this door you don't have to do anything, it just auto opens. And I always go to the left. Um, I don't think there's really a difference either way. I'm, I'm pretty sure the wire always goes to the left, but in this instance going to the right would have been faster. Um, unfortunately, I haven't found a way to determine which one is going to be faster yet from the start. 
and for these doors there's actually an achievement for opening all four of them but i found that about 90 percent of the time it's always going to be in door two and the other 10 percent it's always been in door four i've never gotten it in one or three but what you're looking for is this little downward slope that curves to the right which is always going to lead to the room with the switch and this is the only puzzle on this level once this level is completed you go back down the staircase and then you're on to the final level which is the tunnels whether it be the staircase or the big tunnels now that we've loaded completely in this part right here never changes um, you're always going to drop down and then go to the left right here it always goes to the left right here as well and the only part that's ever different about this portion is this time around i got the tunnels so you can just see like as i'm running i can already tell which direction i need to be going in um, in the other like section the the second tunnel portion is going to be a staircase behind you where you first entered these tunnels that lead you upstairs that one i have yet to find a i got turned around right there um for the smaller tunnels i've yet to find a foolproof plan that gets me through it i don't think that there's any strategy behind it i think it's just randomized and there we go that's the end i think that was somewhere around six minutes I want to say about six to six and a half minutes. Um, honestly, I don't recommend this game to anybody. This game is absolutely terrible. Uh, unless you're just solely going for gamer score, this game is absolutely god awful. And I don't recommend even honestly going for the gamer score. But if that's you know something that you're interested in, like I was, then it is a pretty easy thousand gamer score. Um, if you if you like the video please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date with all future updates and thank you